Hello everyone, in this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to make this go to this with zero effective performance in Godot 4. There are three ways to handle global illumination in Godot 4. One is real time and two are baked. Assuming you have watched my world environment tutorial, we can head over to it, select SDFGI, enable that, it will take a second, but after that, you'll have dynamic global illumination. However, this can be very heavy on performance on your computer. Now this method of global illumination uses something called voxels to render out its illumination, which is already quite performant. However, we can go ahead and bake this by first off turning off SDFGI, head over to our directional light in our bake mode, select static. Now let's go to add a new node. This will be a voxel GI. We will have to surround our entire area inside of the bounds of this global illumination baker and Simply press bake and we'll save that data. It'll take a quick second and you'll have it fully baked. This will have zero hit on performance. Also, after it is baked, we can mess around with some of these settings. Since this is a interior building, we can select interior on the data and it's a little dark. So we'll increase the energy to about three. And you'll see we have a very nice effect. Now, the other method for baking global illumination is by a light map, which we can create by typing in light map GI and it will affect the entire scene by default so you have no bounds to worry about. Now for all of your models that you want to be affected by light map you have to go to their mesh so I will head over to my scenes mesh right click press make unique and then after that head over to your mesh and unwrap UV2 for light map slash ambient occlusion. And now you can go ahead, press bake light maps. This will take a minute. Also, I forgot to add before baking, make sure you have your settings set up beforehand as unlike Vox GI, you must have them set before baking. All right, after that is complete, you will see you have these light map probes. This is how your light is mapped out in your level. So it is very dynamic. And as you can see, even though we have not set our bounds, it automatically knows what is your level and what isn't. So it's very performant. And we can go ahead and remove these light probes so you can see the rest of your level by simply clicking on View, Gizmos, and select Light Map GI. And now you can see our baked level. Anyways, guys, I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you have questions or comments, please leave them down below. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you.